Hey Dibs, and if you are using Unreal Engine from long time, you probably used or maybe heard about UE4 version, which is an excellent game engine for the mobile game devs. You know that it's really very stable for the mobile device. It's really a, it's you know, it's kind of like a super version of Unreal Engine that it's really good. So, what if I say that you can still use the that old engine that 4.7 version and you can still able to export with android 14 plus supports without any storage issue with updated gamepad fix google ad move supports and lastly the updated policy with the google as well so it's kind of like a weird right you said that bro this is this has been dispatched and you know it's epic not giving too much support that so their the plugins are going to be limit more and more Yes, that is true, but let me show you one of my successes that I achieved in after spending two more uh, two days with UE4 version. I personally tried to, you know, a couple of days ago, there's a question come in my mind that, bro, you were super expensive with the UE version, so are we, there's a, you know, are you still able to modify the UE Four version uh, no it's coming on my managers uh, sleeping and I think that yeah I should try and let's give it try let, at last give it try that if it's possible or not and the result is that I just recently get and now I'm making this video to show you so let me now just turn on my camera and let me show you the engine so you can see that this is our Unreal Engine 4 and it's a source build engine not the epic build version okay in epic build version it's very hard to modify everything so I use source build engine uh, to be honest I'm not going to show you that how I do everything because I spend more than two days to just fixing those stuff but I'm just showing you the result okay so the first in the project settings you can see the com dot and you probably can see the uh, uh, the targeted SDK is 34 which is uh, going to support Android 14 and the Detective Studio and even I also export it for the Google Pad so it's mean that the this project settings has the Google Paid apps enabled so we are going to basically we created ABB files that it, which can upload in Google and let me show you the export as well so this is the exported version that I used or I basically created lots of stuff but yeah this is the ABB version so which is only 144 MB okay and yeah the OBB, OBB file as well and this is the upload result that I uploaded to my Google Play Store and um, in this one you can clearly see the versions and the country's target and the supported Android so it's currently now supporting 9400 or 9000 plus so it's usually then common uh, in UE4 version or UE5 version like you know that in Unreal Engine version we probably get maximum 7000 to 8000 device supported but in this one we are getting 9000 device plus supported now you probably have a question bro what is the issue that we are getting and you know so basically the problem is that in Unreal Engine solutions that if you are a very old user you probably heard about this config which is basically at here uh, at let me just minimize those stuff because I guess it's going to be confuse you. So which is basically this the build AMR 7 and build AMR 64 and there's a x60 uh, 86 and 64 version as well. So which is basically 32 bit 64 bit and there's a 128 bits maybe I'm not sure which is the bits version but it's a new that extended now now next gen uh, CPUs or you know mobile are using that the very updated version so in this package version i only exported for 64 bit so which is typically you know sound uh supporting the updated version but if i target it for amn7 which is a v uh, arm v7 which is 32 bit it's going to be support more than 40,000 devices okay so which is really very good and it's going to you know if you are targeting large audience it will help you also uh, if there's also a, you know one more reason so there's a one more reason it can be happen for you like it will be now depends on you whether you are targeting quality or whether you are targeting the performance and you know the device and user so it's kind of like in UE5 version you know that you will get better result but you will very get very bad performance you need to do very loss of suppose if if 
if I build any map in UE4 version and it's just draw call comes and frames coming around 500 draw calls or frames kind of like 120 to 20k in Unreal Engine 5 version it's come more than double like it's come 2.5x so which is really very bad more so it's kind of like you are getting more stable stuff but yeah in this way uh, if you use still UE4 version I saw that I even talked with lots of plugin developers and they said bro it's now very hard to compile and everything even I personally saw that because if we are going to compile any of plugin we need 2020s uh, Microsoft 2020 which is even not available in anywhere you hardly get the 2019 but 2017 is very old but without that the engine are not able to compile the newest plugin so kind of like if you try to modify even I try lots of like I try to uh, you know they modify a firebase plugin a add more plugin but still see that it's at the last even i fix the errors enums and all the new requirements uh, with the oldest version engine but it's still there is a problem that i still can't compile that so that is the lagging uh, so it's kind of like you have to do more you know brainstorm you need to do more hard work if you want to make that stable stuff so that's why it is this in the time to talk with the epic as well i send them an email so let's see if they give any response i will let you update in the any others video about that if i get any updated because i, I really I tell them to I want to contribute in their source build engine so you know you are able to get the same engine which i am using you are able to get in the uh, their official you know the github so i talk with them let's see if they say me any you know positive stuff or any positive answer come from their side so yeah that is the thing so that is the thing that i guess i uh, you know, f uh finish your doubts that if there's any uh thing is possible yes in because this is an open source engine so you know it's very easy to add it okay and modify as well you just need to use your brain as well so you know there's a bunch of stuff that it's not available in internet you need to do you need to use your experience that okay this can be come from there okay or kind of like this file can be added from here so you know you need to more you know just brains from your, your brain so then you can do that and that is the thing and I guess that is uh, the common as my, uh, you know it's kind of like uh, question replay as well that even that was on my mind whenever I shift to UE5 version and I saw that the loss of problem in UE5 version then there's always a question going in my mind that is it possible or not so yeah finally it's possible so I don't want to make the video more long thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye